The thing about me and Bob, and pretty much all of us was, we hated rednecks more than anything else, period. Because rednecks for us were America incarnate. And America? <laughs> well, fuck America. Tonight, or my balls are gonna drop off. I hear that. Ah! Yeah! 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 Come on, go, what could I say? We weren't much more than a couple of young punks. Too hot. Good morning, Bob. Rise and shine. Beautiful fucking day. Alright. Shoot my eyes. So that's it. To be an anarchist in Salt Lake City was certainly no easy task, especially in 1985. And having no money, no job, no plans for the future, the true anarchist position was in itself a strenuous job. And our tribe was small. I mean, at the center was me, Steve-O, and Bob, my roommate, Heroin Bob. Uh, um, Bob didn't really do heroin. In fact, he hated needles. Bob's irrational fear of needles was in contrast to everything you think about the guy. I mean, to look at him, you'd think he was a madman, which, you know, which he was. But he was also one of the most uptight guys I'd ever met. anything about the cut on his hand. Nothing. I mean, absolutely nothing. He just wrapped it up in a dirty old t-shirt and he left it like that for weeks. Is he gonna be okay? Oh, yeah. He'll be fine, I'm sure. Thank you, though. That wound's the most infected thing I've ever seen. I hate doctors, man. I hate them. Well, you're lucky those boys brought you here, eh? So without me, you'd be dead. Patty, we need a gram of the box of cylinder. Okay, let's go. It's a nasty cut you got there. How'd you manage that? I fell off my bike. Oh, sweetheart, I'm sorry. Does it still hurt? Shh, shh. Shh. 
It's a nice kid. Yeah, it's sad, really. How's that? Kids. There's not much future for them. Mm. <laughs> we all die, Steve-O. It's true. Very true, Mike. No, no, no. no, I'm fine, I'm fine! Get that fucking needle away from me, man! No, I don't do me! Get out me! Get out! So Heroin Bob was named as such because he was afraid of needles. But you know, not just needles, I mean, the guy was afraid of drugs too. We couldn't even get him to take a damn aspirin. He drank and he smoked cigarettes, but that's it. He'd say, You know that shit you guys do? You're fucking yourselves up, man. Fucking acid. Acid, it never leaves your body. It's in your fucking spinal cord forever. Let me tell you something about the nature of chemicals, man. You know that dude, Napoleon? Uh, uh, he was banished to an island when the French got sick of him. That's right. Uh, he supposedly died of stomach problems, right? Wrong. He was actually poisoned over a long period of time. Murdered by arsenic. A uh, preservative. And you know how? No idea. His hair? Hair. His fucking hair. It was arsenic could tell how long he was being poisoned by following the traces of poison up his hair. Dude, 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 if you do enough, Gets a bit, you're dead. It really makes you think, doesn't it, Bob? Think, think what? The chemistry's the wrong fucking major for a guy like you. It's the wrong major, Bob. Well, you should lay off the acid anyways, man. You heard about Sean, right? No, what happened to Sean? Well, you know he was selling acid, right? No, man, I told you, $25, man. $25 is inflation. Shit's getting expensive. Thanks, man. Wow. Nice spikes. Nice fucking suit. Well, let me nice. ask you something, Sean. What the fuck did you become a punk for? Hey, man, come on. The kid wants to be a punk. Let him be a punk. You see, Russ, mods are pussies, man. The shit's fucking dead. We catch you out tonight. We're kicking your hey, come ass. On, come kicking on, kicking my ass. ass. Kick my ass. Come on, Why don't you get on your fucking bikes and ride away? Hey, fuck you. Hey, come on. No, no, thanks, sweetheart. No, thanks. thanks All right, yeah. your mom's still driving us to soccer practice, right? Four o'clock. Guys, enjoy. So Sean puts all this acid in his pocket, and the school cop, where was this? Southeast High, man. So he takes off running, and he's running through the track field, and the sprinklers are on. Well, it's 1969, okay. Walk across the USA. So the water soaks through his pants and melts the acid which went through his pants onto the skin on his leg. So you know, over a hundred hits of acid dissolved into Sean's leg. Fried him. So I went to see him like a week later and, and it just snowed and he was sitting outside in the cold.